why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen, because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. Money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands, millions of people in America, and millions of people around the world, I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. It was all recorded on these telemetry tapes. So where is this hard evidence? I haven't uh, seen anything that indicates the telemetry data is even in existence, and as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. But your, you, your own research has shown the telemetry data is missing. That's, that's right. Could this be true, mankind's first interplanetary exploration and the original science data is missing? If it's anywhere, it should be here at NASA's Goddard Space Center in Maryland, home to the National Space Science Data Archives. This film you're making now, what is it? Uh, does it have a name? I mean, do you have you have a name for it yet? I think or are you calling it Did We Go? Did We Go? Okay. Okay. Doesn't have it either. The Smithsonian right. doesn't have it. Right. Johnson doesn't right. have it. Right. Right. We, we've been unable to, to, to track it down. I mean, we don't know. Uh, where this this telemetry data ended up, and we don't know the what what path it may have taken. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't really give you much of a clue as to as to where this data ended up and whether it, it still exists or NASA not. NASA admitted that it had lost lost the original footage of man's first steps on the moon. Okay, Houston, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main beam unavailable. I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake.
Our first task, of course, was to, to deploy Telsat. Uh, it was a nighttime deploy, and so this is a TV picture, nighttime TV picture. It's like uh, in the day, you just can't uh, see it too well. And in the um, pilot seat during this operation, uh, sort of monitoring the uh, motion of the vehicle, making sure that it was steady and that the, uh, the, the, the there were very few uh, vibrations of any sort. Here's a picture of the INSAT uh, actually being deployed from the uh, spacecraft. You can see that the, the deploy went very smoothly at the moment of Did you see it in the background? There was a guy in the background, man. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. You can't deny that that's someone in the background. There is a guy moving in the background. Here, watch it again. Watch it closely. I, I looked up or I tried to look up the size of this rocket. I, I found this picture. You can see it's massive. So if that rocket is in space and if there is a guy in the background in that footage, that means that there are like giants but like insane big giants floating around in space looking at nasa that's that's probably why they don't dare to go back to the moon and why they hide so much stuff space is full of giants These are virtual reality contacts overlaid on the eyes so actors can interact with things in 3D space, all in real time. Uh, this picture here is actually Tim's fault. His hand uh, breaches the 3D mic floating in front of him. We all know NASA uses wires and sometimes we'll catch them like this here, the guy pulled on his wire. However, some days when you're filming live, things just don't work out and it becomes so blatantly obvious, it's ridiculous. So, in this clip, they're talking, live feed, and wouldn't you know, we have a astronaut go by us in the background, uh, obviously trying to give it a more realistic, spacey, station, busy effect. The only problem is the camera that was supposed to mask this harness out, or the uh, video feed, is not working. And so we see the guy come flying along in a harness, on his wires. Pretty amazing. But that's not all that goes wrong here. They're wearing augmented uh, contact lenses so that they can interact with these 3D objects. Now in this scene, the guy on the left in the green shirt, he thinks he sees an object in 3D space that's being broadcast to him. So he grabs it and he puts it off to the side. He's looking straight ahead because he's looking at an object rotating in front of him. but the video channel is down that is supposed to show the viewers what we're supposed to see and so we don't actually get to see the object that he has seen and I would just sum this up as a very terrible bad horrible day for NASA doing live feeds you have been warned um, this is very serious stuff and if you do not get it now you won't get it later because later you won't know the difference again uh, thank you for your time have a good flight and uh, many more exciting experiments on the orbit thanks a lot
11 up here. Tonight, Commander Whitson making history with her record for any American. By the time she lands in September, her tally will be 666 days in space. Will be 666 days in space. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist.